Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you who haven't yet, please press the subscribe button so that you're up to date with my content. Um, we talk about personal development, day-to-day -day issues, as well as mental and emotional well-being on this channel. Hi, today I wanted to discuss um, the topic of narcissism again. Um, do many videos on this. I find that a lot of you find this really helpful. Um, whenever I do post one of these, I get a lot of feedback and people start interacting and telling me their situation. So I just feel like the more I cover this, the more it'll help you guys. So that's why today's topic is, should you um, confront a narcissist about their narcissistic behaviors? And my answer to you guys uh, would be, absolutely not. No, that's not going to help or do anything. Now, let's see why, and let's see what happens when you do call a narcissist out. Because I've had loads of you guys message me about various relationship issues and problems, and when you watch these videos on narcissism, it's like the penny drops for you guys, because there are so many different little elements that a narcissist um, or an emotional abusive person does in a relationship, and then when uh, we talk about topics such as gaslighting, such as narcissists and codependent dynamics, trauma bonding. That's when the penny drops and you guys realize, aha, all these things that I've been feeling about my partner, all the while everybody else thought that I was crazy because they're this just charming individual that everybody seems to love. They're, they're amazing and yet I see a total different side of it. I couldn't verbalize, I couldn't put under one sort of roof. Like I knew that he was emotionally or she was emotionally abusing me. I knew that I was going through these things. I was getting manipulated. I was getting gaslighted. And yet I didn't know the word for it. So the minute they watch a narcissistic video or rela narcissistic relationship videos is when they realize that, okay, this is what it is. And the minute that happens, most people want to show their partner this discovery because they've been trying to explain to their partner how their partners made them feel how they feel in the relationship as a whole and it kind of fell on deaf ears so now that you've come across this big discovery and know what narcissism is you suddenly want to tell your significant other that hold on a second this is what you are this is what I've been dealing with. This is what you do. And because of the things that you do, I feel these certain emotions or neglected or whatever that may be that you are feeling in your relationship. But is that actually gonna solve anything? And is that actually gonna make things better? Now, if you've been telling a narcissist all the ways that they've made you feel and how bad you felt, and they've never listened and he fell on deaf ears what makes you think that when you are pointing out to a narcissist where they're the problem where they are the issue that they would actually take a moment to listen to you if they were going to listen to you you wouldn't be in this position in the first place so by you asking me sometimes oh could you please speak to my partner could you explain it to them could I show you videos to them? Would they understand? Would they change for me? Would they change for the next person they're dating? Answer to all of those is no. Because remember, you're dealing with a master manipulator here. They are very artful and very conniving in the way that they flip the arguments around. And if it's the same thing when it comes to you guys calling out a narcissist or their narcissistic behaviors. They will turn that around, they will flip the argument, and they will attack you. By the end of that conversation, you will be left feeling like you're the narcissist. You will be left feeling like you're the issue. And so it's gonna push you further and it's gonna make you feel worse about the situation. I'm sure that once you come across your discovery and you're like, oh my God, the entitlement, the gaslighting, this perspective of them always being right, the, the lack of them meeting my needs, 
this is all under narcissism and you know what haha ha, i figured you out i'm gonna tell you about yourself now that i know i have control back i can take this back and i can put you in your place but really all you're going to do is you're going to put yourself in harm's way and the narcissist will just flip it around attack you empty both of their barrels on you and literally go crazy on you because it's not like suddenly when you figure them out things will improve you can't say to a narcissist oh you're a narcissist and so i got you now and they will turn around and say you know what now that you figured me out i was waiting for this i'm gonna be so nice to you from this point onwards let's just pretend like none of the stuff that's happened hasn't happened i'm just gonna change now we know that's not gonna happen and as much as all of you guys want justice from your abusive narcissistic relationships that's the one thing that you're not going to get with a narcissist justice you're not going to make him understand you're not going to make him accept so what do you do how do you get back at the narcissist how do you fix the situation calling them out is not an option so how do you get back at the narcissist because we know that absence doesn't really make their heart grow any fonder they just miss the attention that you're giving them we know that confronting them is not going to change anything because they're just going to gaslight you to death and make you feel like you're the crazy one which is what happens with narcissists arguments all the time anyway the best way for you to get back at a narcissist make them feel panic make them feel like they're losing control of the situation is by pulling back by withholding that narcissistic supply that they so heavily rely on from you so the minute that you slowly start becoming a little bit more passive aggressive not reacting not getting personal not letting them have an effect on you just cool about it not engaging in arguments not giving them that satisfaction of them having control or triggering you you just pull back you pull back slowly and slowly and slowly and you don't give them that narcissistic supply anymore that's the only way that a narcissist feels like they're losing it they don't have control over you they can't do what they want they can't get away with what they want so by you improving and working on yourself by you applying this coping mechanisms and techniques to keep yourself protected and pulling back by not engaging not reacting not giving them the satisfaction of knowing that they gotten to you is how you get back or you will get a little bit of justice when you're in a relationship with a narcissist you pull back the narcissistic supply they panic they live off that they need that they need that to feel validated as a person as a man as a woman that's what makes them complete that's what they live off so if you're gonna cut that back slowly and they don't see how and why but suddenly you're just very aloof and indifferent to them is when that will really hit them so when you start working on yourself you start you know growing and developing yourself and your awareness of things and just becoming more strong and more resilient and just not being that affected by them is what really really hurts them so the best way is not to actually go around seeking re revenge or wanting justice or confronting them and putting them in the corner that's never going to work with the narcissist it's just to take that time to work on yourself and pull back the energy and time that you give to the narcissist for their narcissistic supply use that for yourself apply that for yourself and you will see how much that bothers your narcissistic partner i hope you guys found this video helpful um narcissism has been a hot topic for a minute now um you guys are always wanting to know more about it and i feel like in today's day and age we are constantly surrounded by narcissistic people one way or another so knowing how to cope with that is the best tool that i can give you guys to keep your emotions intact and protected if you haven't subscribed to my page please do so uh please like and comment on this video and i'll see you guys here again next week thank you for watching Mwah.